What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is EGBLGD, and welcome back to Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth, where in the last episode, we did all of this. So, if you want to know what we did last episode, go read this, or go watch it if you haven't, you silly. And let's continue. Except... Chapter 3. Five years later, oh my. Some time has passed. 1141. So, you have returned from Rome, Bishop Whaleran. Yes, it was a very illuminating time. What do you want? The Pope was very pleased to hear how I and you have worked together in the past to support our King. We did not do it for your church. He was less pleased, however, to hear about the bargain you struck with the Prior of Kingsbridge. Why should he care? Once and for all, we will not support you in your personal quarrels. The deal we made with the Priory of Kingsbridge has the blessing of the King. Of course, and you would never change your mind on that matter. Tell me, has your son returned from the Holy Land yet? We have not heard from him. Ever since he set out to join that crusade of yours. If he dies, your church will be responsible. Do not underestimate your son, Lady Hamley. That would be a great mistake. What an asshole. Chapter 10. The Rise of Kingsbridge. Ooh, look at the cathedral. It's starting to look great. The town's looking thriving. Not long now and you'll have a ceiling. Wonderful. Then we will no longer have to hold our services in the crypt. You could even begin to plan the paintings for the wooden ceiling and the walls. Why a wooden ceiling? So the whole thing goes up in flames again? Philip decided on that because it's cheaper. And these walls can only hold the weight of a wooden ceiling. I love you like a brother, Alfred, but the apprentice shouldn't have to tell the master craftsman <laughs> things like that. Jack, for once, focus on your work and finish it. Just for once. Or you'll stay an apprentice for the rest of your life. Don't argue again. Alfred is right. This is a house of God. <sighs> All right. So, Jack has grown now, up a bit. Where were we? You could start planning the paintings for the ceiling, if you wish. Can we afford that at the okay. moment? Okay. We are paying so many we workers did it. already. Father Philip. Tom Builder. Alfred. Ah, oh, Aliena. How are you? I'll be moving my wool to Shiring today. The fleece fair starts tomorrow. There we go. Ah, I almost forgot. Milius and I have already arranged everything. We'd make much Come more on. of a profit if Percy Hamley had not raised the taxes this week. Come on. Again? Ugh. Oh. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan, you shouldn't wander off. Stay with us. Tom is right. You hear? Look at Eliana. He looks like a real monk. Obvious Pluvius. Nominee, Patri, Amen. <laughs> that sounds like Latin, but it's not quite right yet. Well... It looks like it, and that's close enough. We would not have to worry about this if we could sell our wool here on our market. The king would have to grant us a license for that. And the Hamleys wouldn't like that, I'm afraid. They want the taxes from the fair in Shiring. Don't worry. We'll make a good profit. It's a good year. We've never moved this much wool as it is. <laughs> I 
Uh, oh, and I have to build a new storage house. Alfred is a master craftsman now. If you can pay him, he'll help you. Ah, very good. So, things are going great for our crew. If she hadn't a business of her own, I'd hire her to work for me. <laughs> she is something. She would make me a good wife. Hey! <laughs> hey, take that back! <laughs> what? What did I say? For the last time, stop your quarreling! Philip, stop it. let's look at the plans again. There's a problem I have to discuss with you. All right. Take that back, Alfred. Jack, leave him alone. And for once, finish your work. And Jack, please keep an eye on Jonathan, will you? What? Why me? <laughs> finish your work, Jack. <laughs> That's, funny. That's how it always was. But on that day, I didn't care. On that day, I was going to see Aliena. How are you now? And I was going to tell her how I felt. Oh, are you now? And nothing and no one would stop me. Do you think that now? <laughs> let's just, uh, let's continue work now. Time to get this done. Ah, dang it. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> Keep an eye on the boy. Keep an eye on the boy. Nice. For some reason, I'm full of energy today. <laughs> mm. But the face still isn't right. I can never get the face right. I'm done for now. Why can't you get the face right? I just can't stand looking at it anymore. Ah, oh, damn. Watch your tongue. <laughs> I will. Damn. I need to get much better at this. So, let's go uh, talk to little Jonathan. Keep an eye on him. Hey, little brother. <laughs> talk about looking out for him. Make faces get up. Let's have fun. Come on, let's have fun. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, I can. Come on, Philip said you can't. You have to work. I know what they said. I was there, you know. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you appreciate that I look out for you. I ate a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Philip, all right? It's our secret. Uh, let's get up. What's this? Why is that hanging there? Let's go uh, work on that some more. I can never get the expression right. That's not humility, sorrow and dignity. He looks surprised. A surprised corbel. Useless. <sighs> I'm done for now. I just can't stand looking at it. Okay. No. I will get mad if I damage the book. Eh. 
Uh, please take the boy with you. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, good. The cathedral. A lot of people working on that. Jonathan, don't run off. Don't he worry, did. he's here. He did. Ah, great. Thank you, Martha. And no, I don't have time to watch him. Oh, damn. Oh, no. It's all broken. Yep, yep, but it's all broken. <laughs> the sounds of the market. Shouldn't you be working, Jack? Eh, maybe I should go before I buy anything. Who's that wearing a black in the background? Watch where you go, will ya? Now it's come to that. Even the monks step on my chickens. How's business? So, how's business? All well? More and more people keep coming here. Yesterday, there were two dozen merchants from Shiring alone. You exhausted? Pretty much. But the Priory made a lot of money. Seems the Earl just raised the taxes at his market, so they all came here instead. Now they've all returned to Shiring for the Fleece Fair. Is the Earl asking lower taxes at the Fleece Fair? On the contrary. From what the merchants told me, it's even worse. So they all have to trade their wool there, including Aliena and the Prior. But you need a license to do a Fleece Fair, and only Shiring has one. I wonder why is that? Why that it? Are you not going to the fleece fair in Shiring? No, Philip asked me to supervise the market here. So now you're working with Philip and Aliena? I know, it's a lot of work. But we all want the same thing after all. And what's that? To keep this place in good shape. This is our home. Yeah, I guess. You should be working too. I'm just taking a break. Do you want to buy some of this fine cloth, Jonathan? Great idea. I can make you a red robe. Or a blue one. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, that would be silly now, wouldn't it? What is the colour that monks wear? Brown and black and grey. How do you get along with Alfred? He usually only talks to me when he wants me to cook for him. Why would you keep cooking for him? He doesn't have a wife. And he's my brother. I wouldn't ask you to cook for me. Jonathan wouldn't either, and he's your brother too. Jack, no one's supposed to know. Don't worry. He's a little monk. He is everyone's brother. <laughs> Did you see Aliena? Hmm. Maybe she was heading home. I think she's expecting a visitor. A visitor? Uh oh, a man visitor? Do I visitor? hear jealousy in your voice? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Aliena went home. Could be. I know she's expecting a visitor. And a conversation. Maybe I should get going. Oh, before I forget, I have a message for you. A message? From Ellen. I will be at the small clearing near the river. I think Ellen wants to talk to you about Papa. What's there to talk about? Tom doesn't believe I can be a builder. That's not true. That's what she wants to talk about. Papa knows what you can do. He told her. Oh, did he? Yes. He's complicated. He is. On days like this, you can almost get lost here. Ooh, we have a map. Nice. Eliana's house, village of Kingsbridge. So we need through the gates, through the village to Eliana's house. The Hamleys would be breaking the agreement we had with King Stephen. All I know is that suddenly the quarry master wants us to pay for stone. And the verderer of Shoot Forest now insists we pay for timber. The verderer and the quarry master both claim that they act on orders from the Earl of Shire. Ooh. If our workers find out, 
They'll get nervous. What are you doing out here, Jack? Did you finish your corbel? I'm not done yet, but I'll do it later, all right? Don't lie. <sighs> Why do I have the feeling that the corbel won't be finished today? Or tomorrow? I'm doing my best, all right? I'm doing my best, all right? If you would let me do more than just the statues. You need to focus on the task at hand. I can do much more than stone carving, and you know it. We can't always get what we want. You Alfred can't can. Jack, please. We have you much want. bigger problems to solve right now. The Earl of Shiring has stopped supporting us. If we don't do anything about it, we'll have to send the workers away. We have to stop building the cathedral. I will talk to Percy Hamley. And if he won't see me, I will talk to the King. Or this will be the end of Kingsbridge. Can I help you? Yes, by doing as you're told. Do your job, and only your job. <laughs> and leave Alfred alone. Of course. This is a terrible problem. Yeah, it is. But I can assure you that we will be safe for the next... Come, kid. So, that's Oleana's house. The Fullers. The Monastery. The Mill. The Road North. Let's go to Eliana's house. Should I just knock? Yep. Don't knock yet. Let's uh, let's see what else there is to say. Okay, Should that's I it. Just knock? Okay, then just knock. Knock at the door. Here we go. Knock, knock, knocking on Eliana's door. Uh, there's no one home. Eliana's not there. I wonder where she is. I wonder. Why can't we talk to the fillers? Good day, my ladies. Ha <laughs> ha, if it isn't handsome Jack. Handsome Have Jack. Have you come by to help, eh? <laughs> um, not really. Didn't think so. <laughs> After a day, your arms start bleeding. Piss and salt in the water will do that. Piss? Only way to get the grease and dirt from the wall. We can use a coin, but there's only so much pain you can take. Yeah. Sooner or later, Aliena will have to look someplace else for fullers. I will find a way to help you with your hands. Well, as a start, then maybe you should get back to work as well. Why I'm just taking a break, saying that right? to me. We got to the town. Let's open the... I wanted to open the map, but apparently... M is music. Eleven forty-one. Soul hut clearing to the mill. Chapter house river. Let's go to the river. Can we go to the river through the mill? Well, that's a seen better days. Don't always run off, Jonathan, or I'll get in trouble with... Aliena! There she is. Yes? Do you mind if we sit here? Uh, of course not.
Why is she here? And how are you two? Oh, um, well. Shouldn't you be Shouldn't working? Shouldn't you be working, Jack Builder? Us? No, as it happens, my young friend here is a bit disgruntled with his superiors and needed a break. <laughs> oh, is that so? Maybe you'd like to come and work for me, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it when kids laugh a lot. Well, well, Jonathan, he's here. I'm coming. Jack loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well, well. I was well. just about to ask if you think that Jonathan suspects anything. I swear on this very Bible that I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> cold! Cold, cold, cold. Oh, I lost my Bible. Shit! I'm sorry, but no bad deed goes unpunished. <laughs> but we haven't done anything bad yet. You burned down the cathedral. Ooh. My lady. You dangerous, feral beast from the woods. God hates me for that. He, he has a strange way of showing it. Lost in thought. Just like today. Why can't it always be like this, Jack? Why I can't it? I know what you mean. I hate pretending that I don't love you. Then don't. Jack. I know. I know. <sighs> so you fight with Tom again? Were you still reading the Bible? You heard from your brother. Did you fight with Tom again? Did you fight with Tom again? Tom always takes Alfred's side. Well, he is Alfred's father. He worries about him. It was the same with Richard. If Tom's worried about Alfred, then why is he always telling me off? Because you are the clever one. He probably worries about yep, Alfred. Yep, he is the clever one. Hey, it's not my fault that he's a, he's a bit slow in the head exactly tom thinks you should know better mm, maybe don't be cross with tom don't be cross with tom i think he wishes alfred was more capable than he really is he wants alfred to be his successor after all well, perhaps he could be if he only put his mind to it i mean even i could do it <laughs> i'm sure you could but who would want to build a cathedral anyway? Uh, were you still reading the Bible? Were you still reading the Bible? Oh, Philip insists. I better be angry that I lost it. Oh, don't worry. He'll still keep teaching you. I think he sees something in you. Everyone oh, maybe does. I should become a monk. <laughs> oh, but but you you aren't allowed to kiss monks. I shall love you like a brother, then. Yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> Say, what was that book called you told me about last time we met? The Amores, by Ovid. I've only heard about it. From a traveling scholar. Hmm, the title sounds promising. Yeah, but maybe it's not as interesting as we think. Let's find out. I'll ask around Kingsbridge and see what I can find. All right.
Have you heard from your brother? <sighs> the war never ends. Oh, he's at war. And he always needs more money. Where and is he at war? I pay him to fight for the man who killed our father. King Stephen. To get the earldom back from him. Mm, yes. But you know, I don't even want that. Everything I've built here, what we have, I have all that because I'm not my father's daughter anymore. I'm afraid that if Richard becomes Earl, I'll lose much more than the money he's wasting now. Hmm. Your father meant Your well. father meant well. I'm sure he did. Did he? He never loved anyone. Not even my mother. It was not my fault we lost the earldom. It's not my responsibility. How could father make me swear that oath? You know... Back in the forest, my mother made up the rules herself. But they all made sense somehow. Here, everything is... It's, it's complicated. Oh, I know. Rules everywhere. Why is it that Tom can't tell Philip that Jonathan is his son? He's so happy when he's around Jonathan. Tom's rules. And Philip's, probably. Tom believes he has lost the right to be Jonathan's father, as he gave up on him when he was born. That's what Martha said. And what about us? When will we tell other people about us? I guess when we're ready to play by their rules. <laughs> or they by ours. I guess. It's like trading wool, it's like stone power. It's like trading wool. It's like trading wool. Is it? Trading wool is a bit like what my father did. Talking to people, negotiating, trading. It's... <laughs> it's fun, actually. Talking to people is fun. You listen to what they have to say, what they have to offer, what they're looking for. Then you come up with an offer where everyone profits, including you. Yes, the I get it. last part. We'll is tell not people about us unimportant. when we come up with an offer that suits them and us. Right. And you should try to remember why Tom and Philip keep nagging you. They want the best for you, and for themselves. Which is you. If you say so. I know so. I want the same. One day we'll tell everyone everything about us, Ali. All of them. Maybe not everything, Jack Builder. <laughs> uh, oh. What's going on? We better go and find out. Everyone, calm down. What happened at the quarry? Listen. Yes, there was an incident. Our friend Otto Blackface was hurt at the quarry. What? What happened? The Earl of Shiring had his men stop us from taking stone from the quarries and timber from the forest. Why? Why would Percy Hamley do that? All we know is what his men told us. That the Earl of Shiring will not support the construction of Kingsbridge Cathedral anymore. What are we going to do now? I will write to Shiring myself and I will talk to Percy Hamley. Oh, that's all good and well. But how are we supposed to continue working without stone and timber? I want to be paid before you run out of money. I need to feed my family. Uh-oh. Calm down. You heard the prior. He will talk to the Earl himself. And I've planned ahead for a day like this. You will be paid soon. And there will be plenty of work for at least another month. For all of you. I trust I Tom. I say we stay. Yay. 
and I trust our prior. I will prepare everything immediately. I'll be with you in a moment. What if the Earl won't listen to Philip? I need to talk to Philip. See me later at my house, all right? What about the book we wanted to look for? N not now. I, I think I can help here. I'll find the book. We will sort this out. And now, back to know work. Know your priorities, Jack. This cathedral know won't build itself. Priorities. And you, Jack, watch Jonathan. Oh, what again? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I had a blast. If you had a blast as well, make sure to hit that like button on this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more Pillars of the Year. Then I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.